every time when I deliver fruits here, I was amazed with the plants that it is being grown here. And here we have Eve Evelyn. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Evelyn. How old are you, Evelyn? 63, going 64. Oh, she's 63 years old. And then I think this plant, you know, and then spending time, how much time do you spend? About two hours a day. Yeah. yeah. And now it's flowering. Uh, maybe you can share a bit. Of yeah, so this is um, a Chinese jasmine. I call it Chinese jasmine. What call? I think they use it for bonsai, sui mei. You know? Uh, so when it flowers, it's beautiful, the smell, but it's more prominent at night. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so actually, this tree is very special because it was planted in memory of a friend who passed away. Mm. So sometimes I plant things in memory of somebody. Mm. So this was a plant in memory of Kevin Marias, a very good friend. I think you know about him. Yeah, yeah. He passed yeah. away in the terrible kind of death suffered. So mm. I wanted a good memory of him. So whenever I look at this, I think of Kevin. Being is such a sweet person, a kind person, so pure mm. in heart, you know. Yeah, so this we call this the cabin tree. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so the, I draw a lot yeah. of energy from plants, mm. you know. Uh, just spending time in the garden is just wonderful. Yeah, and um, the garden is always evolving. It wasn't like that originally. I had other things. I had a beautiful ginger plant, but it got attacked by some parasites and everything like that. So I planted, but I wanted a garden that was tropical. I mean, you see people doing Japanese style gardens. Thai hibiscus. The Thai are very good with hibiscus. Mm. They come up with beautiful varieties. Like this one is fading at the moment. But from Thailand, huh? Uh, yeah, the yeah. plant is originally from Thailand. See, it's a multi layer. Wow. Uh, so more buds are coming, you know. It's a mm. multi layer hibiscus. Mm. So, yeah. This is a uh, hibiscus, what they call uh, Mirabilis. Uh, it is actually grown in the wild and the flower uh, changes flower uh, color. In the morning it is white and then it becomes pink, evening is red. And it lasts only 24 hours. Mm. Yeah, so it's good about the flower. Yeah. So this has a flower, this is my sandpaper wine. Mm -hmm. You feel the leaf, you know why it's called sandpaper wine. Mm. Yeah, it's like sandpaper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is the Monstera, which is now uh, people are crazy about it, especially the ones with variegation. This is my Bakawali. Bakawali. What they call Queen of the Night. I'll send you flowers. It flowered the other day, I had about 10 blooms. So the buds, more buds are coming up. It's an ugly plant to look at, mm -hmm. but when it flowers, it flowers at night. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful white flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I grow some herbs. So this is a black ginger I just got. Mm -hmm. um, I got it from Yoho Baru. Mm. Yeah. How, do you, how do you get them? Uh, I joined a gardening group. So people mm. uh, actually, this has got medicinal value. So I'm trying to grow it at the moment. It's mm. black. The, the ginger is actually black. Yeah. Mm. This is a different kind. We call money plant. Huh? But mm. this is what we call the marble. It's a different variety. Yeah. And my, uh, I love this. It's called Philodendron Cream Splash. Wow. Because of, this. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Every leaf yeah. is different. Yeah. That's what makes plants so beautiful. They may not have flowers, but if you look at every leaf, uh, huh. no two leaves are the same. Yeah. You know? No two leaves are wow. the same. It's like, a, it's like a piece of an, an art, you know? Yes. Art, so art pieces, people you know? don't realize it's yeah. all green, there's no flowers. But actually, you look at the leaves and they, I enjoy the pattern of leaves. Mm. Mm. I've got two varieties. This is the, they call it the black magic. Mm. This is actually a Rangoon creeper, but it's a non, uh, no fragrance. Mm. Yeah, it was up to the roof, so I had to chop it. Mm. Yeah. So this is my down mm -hmm. Yeah. So the fish in the water actually fertilizes the plant. You see, it's growing water. Mm. Yeah. So when I need to cook, I just need to cut. Mm. Now this is Tonking jasmine. Mm. The Thai and the Vietnamese, they use it a lot in their cookies. So your plant also attracts a lot of uh, birds and... Yes, insects, birds, you can have a smell. Something just me. So they use it. Mm. Yeah, but I can't use it because it's so sweet. Mm. It's full of ants and even though I soak it in water, you know, so I just keep it. Oh, the, the ants love them, The huh? ants love it, Because yeah. of the sweetness. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, in Thailand, in Vietnam, uh, you find that people use it in salad, it's beautiful. Mm. And people fry eggs with it as well. But you know, eat it, just eat it raw, it's very nice. So, mm. yeah, the Rangoon people just cut. Uh, this is uh, rosemary. 
Like it's what we call, you, you just run your hand through it, you can smell it. It's mm. called a creeping rosemary. Mm. You can already smell. Mm. Right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You, you see, rosemary yeah. is very hard to grow in Malaysia. Especially, mm. I, I never had success. Until someone told me there's a rosemary called a creeping rosemary, meaning it hangs down. Mm. Like mm. And I've been quite successful. Mm. So, someone to give you roast chicken. Uh -huh. Just use that. Yeah. Uh, this is my fiddle pig. Hi, or big. <laughs> now this is a wonderful plant, but the flowers have stopped. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, it's a light jasmine. Light jasmine. The flowers are not attractive, but the smell mm. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, at night you smell. Uh, people, some people don't like it. They say mm -hmm. will come. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, because it's such a strong scent. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's a beautiful plant. I I love that. Yeah. I love that as well. I see you have some orchids here as well. I buy cheap orchids because I'm not good in orchids. You see, it's not the, mm. it's not the best place to plant orchids. So, in orchids, you need to spray. You see, it's got disease. You need to spray pesticide and all that. I don't like to do that. So, mm. I just buy the cheapest type. Mm -hmm. The one that flowers all the time. And mm. it blooms. It's good enough. Mm. So I don't go in orchids. The garden is too small to have everything. Mm. Uh, this lotus, which has just which has finished flowering, so these are forming pots and seeds. Mm. Um, the, the flower was mm -hmm. that high. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I do sauce out sometimes. This guy grows only lotus and leaves water plants, mm. so I do get from him as well. Mm. Of course, this is aloe vera, as you can see. Mm. This is the edible aloe vera, so we eat it. Mm. Is it bitter? No, we make tongue Oh. So you put. So there's a type where you. There's a type you can eat, there's a type you can't eat. Oh. This is the type that's edible, these huge ones. Mm. Uh, you just scrape it out, you wash off some of the sticky stuff, and then yeah. you boil apple, uh, green apple, uh, mm. what do you call that? Uh, and hong mm -hmm. rock sugar, and then you put this in. Mm. Yeah, it's very cooling. I, I know that when they say that you look, uh, at, green, you look at green, it improves your eyesight. Improves your eyesight well, it has not deteriorated, it has always been. Yeah. Quite stable, you know. Yeah. In fact, it's going down. Yeah, you see, yeah. looking at more greens will actually help your eyesight to be healthy. Now, when you do gardening, you've got to move around. This mm. mobility. I lift. I try not to lift too heavy, but what I can, I mm. lift. That is building strength. Mm. So I, I most of the pots, I don't have a full time gardener. Yep. Only have the gardener come in to cut the trees. I see. Most of the things I do on my own. Yeah. Um, and then because you are like small mouth, they are doing trimming, cutting, pulling, all these are keeping your joints flexible yep. as well. Yep. So, and another most, most important thing also, mental health. Mm. Mm. Yeah. As I said, it gives me a lot of joy. Yeah. Uh, I don't speak to anybody the whole day, mm. okay, because I live alone. Mm. Unless or uh, chatting on the phone or something, I don't see people most mm. of the time, mm. especially now during the pandemic. Yeah. But the pandemic is my busiest time, and that's why the garden is very happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So I don't feel that the day is a drag, mm. it's long, you know. Mm. Uh, time passes very fast, and by 12 o'clock, it's too hot, so I'm not in the garden. Mm. Yeah. I joined a group of gardeners, mm. you know, um, and I'm at the TDDI Community Garden. Mm. There we grow edibles, so that's different. But mm. they also grow some flowering plants to attract pollinators. Mm. So that's where I come in because I like plants, I like flowers, mm. so I help them out. Mm -hmm. okay. Doing a tropical, yeah. little tropical forest. In yeah. Because the plants, a lot of people are also saying that you know you attract mosquitoes. Do you have that issue? No. How do you? Why do as long you as your pots are not waterlogged, you know, very important. You see, I don't have those plates yeah. where it collects water. Yeah, correct. I just have these plastic things that I buy yeah. from Shopee. Mm -hmm. So the water goes right through. So mm. as long as you are not having vessels that are. Even the, the. Okay, I've got two, three ponds, huh? mm. ponds of mm. water, but it's full of guppies. You have a look later. It's mm. full of guppies. Mm. So I don't have a problem. You don't have the, 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 the mosquito breeding problem, huh? No. This is what keeps me busy and makes me happy. I've got a curry tree here. So if mm. I need to cook, I just come up to pluck mm. some curry leaves. And every day, you will spend half an hour at least. At right? least half an hour. And that half an hour will keep you sweat, 
right? Uh, no, not really. When I spend that two hours, when I have to read, when I have to report, when I have to do change, change salt, that really perspire. Yeah, that yeah. really makes you sweat a lot. Yeah. So, uh, plants give me that joy. You know, you come up now, they absorb carbon dioxide. Mm, mm, mm. We take oxygen, they give yep. up oxygen. Mm. So, you're getting lots of oxygen. Yeah. And even like an unattractive plant, as people say, has got its own beauty, like this leaf with all the veins that you like, you know, this uh, tree, fern, uh, and things like that. They are just growing on nothing, and yet they're just taking, uh, absorbing air and water and minerals and air, and they're just growing. So it's just amazing. And even like history of the plant, like this is called a philodendron burmax. Why is it called Germany? Because that this German architect for months, he was the first to use tropical plants for interior decoration. Mm. It's not a beautiful plant, but it, it grows very well. It's very good to put in the house. You can take some back. <laughs> Much, uh, Evelyn, for your time for Let's bringing welcome. us around and sharing with us the plants, the amazing plants that she has. I hope that this video will inspire a lot more people out there to be like her and keep active. You know, right? Yeah. You have to keep yourself yeah. active and do something, yeah. and I'm sure that everyone will be able <laughs> to create a small little garden or herb garden in your home. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.